your girl Jonesy. Thank you so much for tuning in to To Live and Date in LA. For those of you who um, have not, make sure that you subscribe and make sure you like this video and feel free to leave any comments or suggestions, suggestions, I can't talk, down below. And if you are new, let me introduce myself. My name is Jonesy. I'm an actor and writer from Los Angeles, California. I have this really fun YouTube channel, To Live and Date in LA, and I also have my blog, to live in Dayton, LA .co. So make sure that you head on over there after you watch this video. So what is the point of this video? Well, I wanted to unbox this really cool background um, haul that I got from Amazon. And let me just tell you why. So before I was uh, vlogging from my own apartment and I recently moved back home. So I moved back home because three years ago, unfortunately, my mom passed away. And this past summer, uh, my dad got a little bit sick and he's fine now, but I gave up my apartment, moved back home so I can help him. And even though he's doing a little bit better, he's super lonely because he never lived on his own. He lived with my mom for over 40 something years. That's how long they were married. So I decided, hey, I'll come home and I'll do everything from here and I'll save money while I'm here, right? Because I don't have to pay a gazillion, 50 billion dollars in rent. But now the problem is I'm vlogging from my bedroom. Here's a little twirl of the bedroom. So there's, you know, like a wall. Sorry, that's a bit of the ring light. <laughs> so there's like a wall. There's another wall, which I have my desk. And that's where I do like my writing of my screenplays and my blog. There's uh, Billie Holiday, Lucille Ball. There's some upper cabinets. There's my... Um, my closet which takes up the other half of the wall and then on the other wall I have my dresser TV so the issue is whenever I am vlogging um, I'm like on the wall where my bed is which is what I'm sitting on right now and I do not like that when I set up the ring light in the middle of my room you see it in the mirrored closet so I was like, yo, this cannot be. Like I need to really get a background. And I had um, all these really great fabrics that I would go and get from the fabric store to use as backgrounds in my videos in my apartment. Because I had a huge closet and a huge wall that I would just hang the, the fabrics up on and I'd be good to go. So now that um, I have the mirrored closets um, doors, I needed a background and I needed something to hold it on. So I ordered this uh, background setup from Amazon and I wanted to show you guys, um, I wanted to show myself um, unboxing it. I'm saying um a lot. I bought this background from Amazon and um, it's really cool and I haven't unboxed it yet. So I thought why not unbox it for y'all and then you could see how cool it is and how easy it is. So let's get to unboxing. <laughs> what comes in the package. The package contains the height adjustable locking system. It comes with the uh, crossbar poles, the support stand, sandbags, a carrying bag. So I am going to film me setting this up and then I'll come back in the end and show you some really great fabrics that I got. Um, yeah, let's just keep going guys, okay? <laughs> So how easy was that, right? You saw me put this together. Super easy and very simple. I wanted to give you the dimensions on this, okay? So this is the Julia Studio photo video setup. Let me just cheat and look at my computer to make sure I'm telling you the right information. Julia Studio photo video setup, okay? So it is 
10 feet wide crossbar and 7.4 feet tall. So the background stand and the support system all come together in one box as you saw me unbox everything. And these I wanted to just show you are the sandbags. So they have the zippers, okay, on the inside. So what you would do here is you would either fill it up with sand directly or um, fill sand up like in a Ziploc bag or if you had beans or if you wanted to do rocks, you could literally fill it up with anything. And then what you would do is you would put this, okay, around one of the base of the poles so that if you were outside and say it was windy or if you're just outside and you're on a grass area, which is uneven, it's filled up with whatever material that you choose, um, whether it be, like I said, sand, rocks, beans, you could probably put a, some bricks in here. So the poles will stay and you won't have to worry about them being uneven or falling over while you're doing your video shoot or your photo shoot. You might have some questions and be wondering about these fabrics. These fabrics are awesome and were super cheap. I did not pay more than maybe eight dollars if even that for these fabrics. Instead of purchasing backgrounds which are like thirty forty dollars which I think is absolutely absurd and nobody should be paying thirty forty dollars for their backgrounds. I go to my local fabric store and I just say I love this fabric cut me six feet of it and I bring it home y'all that's all I do you know I'm frugal your girl likes to save and I want you to save too what I love about these is how tough and durable they are like these are actually like fabrics that you could use outside like on picnic tables or anything like that because what you don't want is your what's behind to be shown right like we're hiding the bedroom the apartment the closet wherever it is that you're shooting you're hiding that so you need a tough durable fabric so I tend to go for the heavier fabrics that are considered like picnic table fabrics that's what I go for and I'm telling you this is six feet and I I don't even think I paid eight dollars for it thirty two fifty for the Julius studio photo um, video extravaganza background extravaganza I will put the link below the fabrics I got from my local fabric store there's no reason to buy a $50 background when you can go to your local fabric store and get it for like less than $10 y'all so the Julius studio Photography and video shoot background setup cost me $32.50 from Amazon and I got the three-year protection plan which was the extra $2.54 and I did not have Amazon Prime and it still arrived two days later after I ordered it. Like how awesome is that, right? So y'all, like what, 40 bucks total for everything? You can't beat that, right? And then Use my other tip, go to your local fabric store, have some fabric cut to like maybe six feet, five feet. I'm short, so you know, I get it cut to six feet because I'm only 5'2". And then you hang it up on your new backdrop and you can be anywhere in the world while you're filming your videos and taking pictures of yourself. Y'all, how simple and easy is that? And this will help you so much. I think it's just really great. It makes you pop, it makes you stand out, and it makes you the focus of the video, which is what you want people to focus on, right? Focus on me. Baby, can you focus on me? I hope that you really liked this video and I hope that it helped you and it was informative. Make sure that, you know, you are the focus of your video. You are putting in a lot of work putting these videos together, you're editing, you're setting up, make yourself look amazing. Go ahead and order a backdrop set up for yourself. Don't order a $60 backdrop online. Go to your local fabric store, spend less than $10 and be looking like the bomb. And be standing out and be the focus. Of your video I really hope this helped you I love hearing from you guys so make sure to like and subscribe check me out over on my blog to live in Dayton LA .co. I'm Jonesy I love this setup it was easy it was totally affordable and I will definitely be using it from now on so I really hope this helped you and have an amazing wonderful blessed day bye guys